Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a different video. I actually downloaded a trial version of a program called Moai, Moai 4.0. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and do a little demo on that. It's a pretty intuitive program. It's very similar to Rhinoceros, uh, Rhinoceros um, 7.0, or even Blender for that matter. Um, so it is a lot different than Design Spark Mechanical, but we'll go over some of the differences. So right away you're going to get, um, you know, it's going to open up four viewpoint windows, viewport. You're going to have top, you're going to have 3D, front, and right. Now down here you can just uh, click on any one of these. If you just want a single viewport, you have that. You go to split. I find split useful. Um, you go to front, then you can go to right, and then you go to split. So what we're going to do real quick here is we're going to do a demonstration on the, some of the tools down here, some of the common tools that you would use if you were drawing a part. So we're going to go over uh, the loft, or actually the sweep. So in order to do a sweep, you're going to grab your circle. You're going to create a circle. This is going to be our, our rail, what they call a rail. Okay, you're going to click there. And then what I like about these four viewports is if you want to draw another circle to um, use do the loft from you can just go ahead and create the shape right here in this window okay so now we're going to go ahead and get the, the rectangle and the rectangle has similar options in design spark mechanical you can define it from center or from the corner or from three points so we're going to define here from center so you click there now we're going to click and drag up to create this kind of a shape Okay, now we're going to trim, and in order to trim in this, this is trims a little differently than than Design Spark Mechanical. This is trims more like a CAD package or CAD program. So you're going to go to trim. Now it's saying select objects to trim. So you want to select everything here and here, and then you're going to go ahead and say done, and then you could say here delete cutting objects. So click there, and then you're going to say done. Okay, so now when you're done, you have to do a second operation. You have to come over here and delete uh, the stuff that you don't want. Actually, something happened on there. Let's go. Let's go back. I think uh, there was an error on that. So we'll go ahead and go to. We'll recreate this rectangle. Okay. Now we're going to go delete. So we're going to come over here, or we're going to trim. Select objects to trim. We're going to go here. Hold down control, grab that, and we're going to say done. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and say done here. And then, oh, that's what I didn't do. You have to hit done again. So sometimes you got to do two, and then you're just going to want to select the objects that you want to trim. So you have to do a double process here. Now, in order to use the, um, the the sweep feature, you're going to have to join these together because right now they're separate pieces. So in order to do that, you're going to come over here to your Edit tab, and you're going to go Join. So you click on Join, and then it's asking you to select the objects to join. So you just want to hold down Control key, get all these, and go ahead and hit Done. Calculates and then you're going to click off of it. So now we're going to go, we're going to do the uh, sweep. So, in order to do the sweep, it's asking us to select the profile. This is called the profile and then done. This is a rail. Just think of it like a roller coaster rail. Then you're going to click there and then you're going to select done. And now you're going to hit done again. So now you're, you're, you're done with that part. So, this is going to be your, your sweep, your sweep part. Okay, now select all. Now we're going to do a demonstration on the uh, loft. Okay, in order to do a loft, you're going to go ahead and create a circle that you have down there. And then you're going to go, let's do a polygon. And you can click anywhere in here. So we want to create it here. Actually. Actually, let's do this. Let's undo. Let's do the polygon in this window. 
So grab polygon. We'll do uh, six sided. And then we're going to go from here from the center. So we'll just drag up. Let's make it let's make it a bigger one right here. Okay, so now you're gonna go ahead and move it. You gotta move it up. So it's right here. So just go ahead and drag it up. Okay, this will be your two shapes. In order to move down, you just right mouse click, scale that down. So we're gonna go select that, copy paste, control C, control V, and we're gonna drag it up to there. Okay, now we have you can't really see that object there. Let's go to um, the 3D view. Okay, now you're going to go loft. So you're going to select loft, select all the, the lines. So this one, hold down control, get all of these. Then you select done. Now you've lofted this shape together. Something like that. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the split view. Uh, we'll do a select all, we'll hit delete. Okay, that's going to be, so we went over sweep, we went over loft, we'll do a revolve. Revolve is pretty basic. You're going to start with uh, whatever shape you want to create. We're just going to do a, a very basic shape here. And in order to start the, the line function again, you just right mouse click. Right mouse click, go from there to there. Now I'm going to put a uh, an arc on here. So we'll do from three points. So we're going to go here, here, and then just kind of we'll do something like this. So it's pointed. Okay. So now you're going to come over here to revolve. It's asking to select the curves to revolve. You can just drag a marquee around all this stuff. Select done, and then go 360. You're going to go pick a, a revolve access starting point, which is at the bottom, up to the top, and then you got this. It's kind of a spinning top here. Okay, that's that's the uh, revolve. So we'll go ahead and select all. We'll delete. So we went over um, sweep, loft, revolve. Uh, let's go over extrude. To do extrude, it's a Pretty simple. You draw your whatever shape you want to extrude. Come down here to extrude. You select the curve. Go ahead and hit done. And then you just kind of you can kind of pull the uh, your mouse in the direction you want. So now you have an extruded piece. Now the next one we'll go over is called a, a boolean. Now um, in order to do a cut in this kind of program, you have to use the boolean feature. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get a circle and we'll click there in the center and we'll click to there. So now to do this you're going to go select the boolean. Now you're going to do the difference. There's a few of them. There's union that puts it together. And there's intersect and there's merge and there's difference. So you're going to go difference. So right up here it's asking to select the base object which is always going to be the object you want to cut from. So you select there. Then you say done. Now it's going to ask you to select the object to subtract, which is going to be this line there. So now you say done. Okay, so now you have your, your cut. So every time you want to do a cut in Moai 3D or, Rent, or Blender or uh, Rhinoceros 7, any of those programs, you're going to have to use this Boolean feature. Okay, so now we'll select all. We'll delete. Okay, so we went over extrude. We went sweep. Loft, Revolve, Extrude, Boolean. Now we're going to do the Fillet feature. Fillet feature is pretty easy. We'll start with a circle. We'll go to Extrude. Select the part we want to extrude. Say Done. Add some depth to it. We'll go ahead and rotate this. Now we're going to add another circle. Make it a smaller one. Go to the extrude. Let's undo that. Okay, let's go ahead and click on this. Go deselect. Let's click just that one. 
extrude. Okay, now you want to bring this up. Now you can kind of spin that around. Now to put the fillets on this, you're going to want to come over here to select. You can say select all if you want to do all of them. Then you're going to go to fillets. And then up here is your radius. So we're going to go 0.5. And then you click OK. Um, now you have the shape. You have a circular shape. Uh, so there's some options here. I don't, don't really use those. So, And then you just say done. And now you have your uh, fillets. That's a lot easier than having to do one at a time. All right, so now we're going to go um, select all. Let's delete. Okay, so we went over sweep, loft, revolve, extrude, boolean, fillet, offset. Offset's handy. Same as the one that's used in uh, Design Spark Mechanical. You're going to start with a base shape. Now you're going to come over here to uh, offset. You're going to select. Then you're going to hit done. You're going to come back to the window. Now you're going to pick the second spot. Now from there you can extrude. Do that extrude and then do the boolean. Pick the base object. Done. Pick the object you want to cut. I think I actually goofed on that. Let's go back to the boolean. Boolean, select the base. Done. Select the object to cut. Done. Calculating. Okay. There we go. So now you have a shape like that. And what's nice about this is to add shape here. You go ahead and get your circle. Having the four viewpoints is nice because you know where you're putting something. Now we can go extrude. And you can select anywhere. You can select that if you want. Done. Then you can pull that out. Now you have this kind of a shape. Okay, let's select all. Let's delete. Okay, so we went over most of these. I'm not going to go over any of this stuff. I'll maybe do that in another tutorial. So um, down here, you got the views. Split, 3D, top. Uh, then you have your snaps, the grid and snap. It's a very straightforward program. You save, you have your undos. Um, over here, you have your drawing features. You have your solid drawing features. And then in this tab, you have edit. You have join, you have separate, you have trim, extend. Same as Design Spark Mechanical. You have your history, which is really nice. So you can show that. You have your view. You can... Uh, do these views you have select you have select all you have deselect all and you have invert um, down here you have your construct you have boolean fillet offset planar extrude revolve loft sweep blend uh, then you have these here uh, then you go to transform transform you have move you have copy you have rotate you have scale you have a mirror and then you have the array, the align, and then deform, a couple other ones. Uh, the mirror one's pretty handy too. I guess I could show you that. Uh, it can draw. Let's draw, um, let's draw a shape here. And then if you wanted to mirror it, you go over to mirror. Select object to mirror. Done. Pick a start point. Pick an endpoint. It's kind of just like uh, doing the revolve feature. You just come over there until they meet, and then you come. You'd have to come over here to your edit, and then you join these two pieces up. So you click here. Actually, so deselect. Go to your join. Select objects to join here and here. Then done. Now this is one object. So if you wanted to extrude that, you could come down here to construct, go to extrude, done. Okay, that's a, a basis for this uh, Moai 3D, you can call it Moai 3D, you could call it uh, Moi. I've heard people say Moi, I've heard people say Moai. Um, the program is short for uh, Moment of Inspiration. Uh, so... It's a 3D program for artists and 3D modelers. 
I find it useful. Um, just started learning it. Uh, like I said earlier, it's very similar to Rhinoceros 7.0. It's similar to Blender. It's similar to most of the drawing programs, Maya. Uh, there's quite a few that are like this. Um, but this is a, a very this is very intuitive. Uh, Rhinoceros is kind of has a steep learning curve because there's basically folders everywhere. That it's like that program can do so much. Uh, this program is very basic. Everything is right where you need it to be. Uh, your edit, you have edit view, select. Everything's right where you want it to be. Uh, so you basically have the three windows. You have a drawing window. You have an edit view select window. Then you have a construct transform window. And then you have your views, basically five views, and that's it. You want 3D, you go 3D, and you can revolve it, all the stuff around. Add your fillets. Uh, the save as options are pretty handy. You have uh, save here. Um, you have save as, save as. This saves as a lot of uh, files. You can do DXF, you can do PDF, Illustrator, SketchUp, FBX, it has a 3DS, STL, uh, Wavefront, it has a Step, SAT, IGIS, and an Open NURBS. So some of the more common ones you'd want to save stuff would be like an STL file. That's uh, going to be your basically a 3D printing file. Oh, I need to give it a name, test. Okay, and then I'll, here when you're doing your, I'll just go over this one last thing. When you're doing your STL file, you basically have, you can uh, either drop that down or keep it simplified. You have your fewer polygons, which is gonna make a really uh, rough uh, 3D model if you wanted to test. And then you have more polygons. So this is going to be what you do for your final print. You might want to do something shorter for a test print. Okay, hopefully you enjoy watching and you got some uh, useful tips out of uh, this uh, Moai uh, 3D tutorial. And as always, thanks for watching.